against the grain here and welcome to the New York Yankees MLB 15 the show franchise series the rosters that I'm going to be choosing to use are from the OSFM uh, after the trade deadline so at the beginning of the year you're going to see some players that are not were not on those teams until after the deadline but those are the rosters that I uh, am choosing to use and so since we all know that the show's uh, trades are sometimes a little awkward, uh, I figured it wouldn't be an issue. I did make a few adjustments here and there with the New York Yankees rosters. I added a few prospects, or I replaced a few prospects that I felt that the New York Yankees were focusing on that were not included onto those rosters. Other than that, I, I left everything alone. And so uh, most of the actual game plays will be... Uh, I'll be playing myself, of course. Uh, I'll be playing at least one game per series. Um, very rarely will I play the entire series. Um, so for an example, we play the Blue Jays for three games. I will choose one of those games, and, and that is it. So there will be roughly a 10 games per month that I will personally be playing. And so that's just so that I feel to get a really true idea of what the team is and how it rep is represented by actually playing it yet I didn't want to play every single game because then it wouldn't be finished until sometime next year and I didn't want that to be the case um, there will be an occasional uh, recorded gameplay of uh, CPU versus uh, CPU only because of the situation and I'm not able to play it I'm very very busy but I've been wanting to put together a franchise series for a long time I of course have always played it by myself and have created those series and I enjoy it and for the most part I am uploading it onto YouTube mainly uh, for me just so that I can have it there always and something that I can look back later on I chose the New York Yankees because they're the team that I have followed since I was 12 years old. My father was an old-time Yankee um, fanatic, and uh, his father before him, and so it's it just felt that that was the team that I knew most about. I've been following them for many years on a very personal level so when they would trade all their prospects over for some of the veterans it, uh, it would annoy me so much I'd be like what are you doing guys come on use some of your youngins I mean some of the, the best teams that you've been put together were by bringing those young players up that you have farmed and that was the, the best in the 90s the 90s Yankees were a majority but they were grown from the farm system so I wanted to bring that back to the Yankees a little bit and so that was primarily the reason for uh, this series. Um, on the description I will uh, show what sliders that I'm going to be using uh, for the most part the beginning of the series I'm going to be using the all-star hybrid where the pitching is all-star difficulty but the uh, hitting is veteran uh, though I will upgrade to all-star for both and the sliders, I will, on the description, make changes if I do change it. But for the most part, I'm trying to keep it the same. And so I will attempt to have the recap videos be as entertaining as possible. There will be um, every game that I play, I'll, I'll upload the full game unedited. But I will also have a shortened recap condensed version for each two. And also I'll have some top prospect showcase and such. So I hope you enjoy the series and let's get started. the New York Yankees this season is going to uh, make some changes and use uh, use some young players more throughout the year. We're going to test things out, but the starting off 40-man roster for the 2015 New York Yankees will consist of Jacoby Ellsbury, starter center fielder, Chase Headley, our third baseman, Brett Gardner, our outfielder, Mark Teixeira, first base and gold glover at that. Alex Rodriguez will be our DH mostly. Carlos B 
Beltron, also in the outfield. Brian McCann, our starting catcher. Didi Gregorius, shortstop and not replacing Derek Jeter. Steven Drew, our second baseman, and on the bench. Dustin Ackley, which we uh, picked up from uh, Seattle. Uh, John Ryan Murphy, who is the backup catcher for McCann. Garrett Jones, who plays in the outfield and also takes over for Teixeira. Rob Ref Snyder, who is a prospect for second base. Chris Young is a really strong man against left-handed pitching. Mason Williams, who is a another top prospect. Aaron Judge. Uh, Jose Perella, who is a utility man. Slade Heathcott. Gary Sanchez, which is an up-and-coming uh, prospect for catching. Greg Bird, who is a fantastic first baseman. Those are the position players, and the pitchers we have are uh, Mas Masahara Tanaka, who is our ace pitcher. Uh, kind of dealing with injuries here and there, but uh, he's back, so be nice to utilize him. Michael Panada is our uh, strikeout pitcher, second man in the rotation. Nathan Ivaldi, he is a fastball pitcher, but he also has a nice splitter that he's been working on. CC Sabathia, he is an uh, oldie but goodie lefty that we have. Uh, Ivan Nova, who is uh, also coming back from a uh, Tommy John surgery. Adam Warren, he has been a pretty dependable bullpen and starter. Luis Severino, he's our ace pro top prospect. Chase Whitley, he's a pretty good in the bullpen, but he's also a starter. Uh, Jason Shreve is also a rookie. Justin Wilson, both Jason Shreve and Justin Wilson are, are lefties. Brian Mitchell, who will be a uh, starter here and there. Nick Goody is going to get some time. Andrew Miller is a wonderful setup and possible closer. Nick Rumbelow is also kind of like a Nick Goody. <laughs> Dylan Batantis, he is our ace closer or setup. Chris Capiano. Uh, Jacob Lindgren is also a uh, prospect. Andrew Bailey, he's been with the system for quite a while now. Uh, Sergio Santos, he's a semi-veteran. Brandon Pender, who we've used several times. And that is the starting 40-man roster for the 2015 New York Yankees. Well, spring training is right around the corner, so I uh, hope to see you all at the ball game.